really tired of throwing around weight so throwing around people like I used to being stuck in these walls and stuck in this house is just making me crazy really wish I could just find a way to fight anybody in a ring shoot even outside of the ring I'll fight them I think I could help but who the hell are you but better yet what the hell are you me me massive fucking Justin Gray power metal Van Helsing the baddest man in the land with two hands what do you mean who am I that's not the point I've got a guy for you. Johnny in the fridge, Mick Chill. Baddest man in town. Nobody's been able to beat him. Obviously this this man is a creation of my own fever dream, but he does say I have some to fight. Okay, I'm listening. What, All right. what do you need from me? You you just need to get ready. Meet me outside. You got it. This is the guy you were talking about? Yeah. Doesn't really look too intimidating, I guess. Turn on. Turn on. All right. How about now? Oh, shit. Okay. Um, so are you going to gonna ref this then? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, all right. This match is scheduled for one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing your guest referee. Hailing from Attitude City, your power metal Van Helsing, the massive legend that is Justin Gray. Our first combatant Hailing from Wichita, Kansas, weighing in at 255 pounds, he is the top of the food chain, the carnivore is a Remington. Hailing from Lanzanor. Wait, unknown. And made up of parts unknown. And undefeated scrapyard champion, this is Johnny, the Fridge. Big chill! Can't believe this is actually happening. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ring the bell! Here we are, the bell has rung. Remington Brawl versus Mick Chill at ATW Cabin Fever. Earl Joseph, the Liverpool Lip here with Thomas Wayne Oliver. And Mick Chill is, is a fridge, a fridge of a competitor. It's huge, huge. It's like the 1985 Bears. And you can see that mean face on him. And I got that. That was a William Fridge Perry reference. Hey, I may be British, but I, I know my 80s NFL, clearly. Oh, you know, we're out of focus on the camera. Uh, you know, the fridge can... Wow, I'm just... Oh! Oh, wait, he's pulled his mouth apart. We assume that's the mouth. I'm speechless. I just, He's wow. wrenching on that wow. handle. Remington Raw cheered on by his accomplice. Oh! A chop! That's got to hurt somebody. Chop oh. to the freezer cabinet. Another. Oh! Oh my God! Oh! And a second. This is going back and forth. Remington Raw. Look at him. What a specimen. Built like a fridge, which is lucky because that's exactly what his opponent is. I think that's an old General Electric right there. General Electric built this country and they built that fridge. Right. <laughs> Thanks for that, You're Thomas right. Rain Oliver. Oh my oh, god! Oh, no! Um, that's 300 pounds right there! Shades oh. of Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. But he just threw him off like it was nothing. In that House of Horrors match where the fridge fell on Randy Orton at the end. And you know what? I just talking about House of Horrors. If you're enjoying this match, you need to make sure that you hit up those cash apps and PayPal's up in the top left-hand corner. Absolutely. And let me tell you, Remington Roy is a fantastic performer. I've had the pleasure of working with him. 
in Indianapolis for AWR, who are also sponsoring this event. And he's quite a keen bass player as well. Yeah, but, you know, he may be outmatched here with Mick Chill. Mick Chill is a competitor oh. like we've never seen here before. Oh, Mick Chill is a frosty competitor. Oh. Cool as ice. It, he just, he strikes with such precision, but without any emotion. Whoa, that looked low. Come on. Yeah, as you can see, his oh. facial expression has not changed throughout the match, even if he's taking or giving damage. His facial expression hasn't changed, just like the quality of General Electric products. Oh. They have not changed since 1800s. Well, let me just draw your attention to McChill, who took a swing and a miss. It's allowed Remington Raw to go. Oh down. my God! God Almighty! A German suplex or an overhead suplex? Oh, oh, but he's got to follow up though. But how do you get McChill on his back? McChill is so big. What? He's just dragging him across. Oh, he's getting him back up. That was absolutely incredible. That feet of strength to pick up an entire fridge. What the fuck? Is Remington available the next time I need to move? Because he can he can lift yeah, the like, Oh, a oh, discus lariat! A discus lariat! Incredible. Ooh. Remington Roar is screaming. Well, he's not screaming. But he's happy with himself. Oh, and he's pulled the handle off. My God, that is a severe injury to McChill. Stop the damn match. Almost Stop the damn match. Catastrophic. That's, that's technically a limb. Over oh, McChill. He's going up to the top of the... The stack. The stack. The brick stack. Oh, he's calling for stack. it. He's calling for it. Oh, elbow Joe drop. Man. Elbow drop on to McChill. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a pin. One, two, three. And that's it. The elbow drop finishes it. Good night, Miss Fridgebeth from Macho Man Randy Savage. Rubbing to Roar is the victor. Hey. Here at ATW hey. Pro's Cabin though, Fever. Even though Remington won that, ma won that match, Mick Chill had real? You're not just, a just the heart of a champion. The heart of a champion, he fought to the very end. The elbow of a champion as well as the heart of a champion. That's what he felt here at Cabin Fever. Get out. Get out. Who are you? I brought you an opponent. You had it for I paid for a ticket, you live in a zoo. What do you mean, get out? I wanted to see the gazelles or whatever you people have here. Or steal the 